it was a work of genius and it is unkillable. It is very rare to hear music because for every instrument there is that don't play this song. Yeah. Like like if it's a guitar, don't play um, Hotel California. Yeah, yeah. You know, or, or Stairway to Heaven. Yeah. You know, if it's a piano, don't play for Elise. I mean, there's just certain things. Don't do that. Everybody does that. Don't do that. Yeah. But you see, but you see, there's one difference though about the Cotter D, and that is that it was written by Bach, and Bach is like Shakespeare. The art is so strong that it'll take anything you can throw at it. You know, if you think about it, right? J just think, right? You can have you can have a, uh, a production of you know that's done in London in the New Globe Theatre uh, with um, uh, with period costumes, period music, period instruments, period accents. It's wonderful. Or you can have a production done by the local black community workshop theater workshop with people on a bare stage in their skivvies, it's still Hamlet. Okay? This is true. Okay. And box music is like that. Okay? Box music is like that. The art is so monumental that it transcends the medium or the push muck is trying to put his, his spin on it. What is your favorite thing to see done with one of these machines? What are, my favorite thing to, to see done or hear done uh, is for someone to sit down and exploit the artistic re resources of the instrument in style, uh, in the way uh, you know, playing the music, the way the composer intended it, using the resources that we gave them to do that. So making the most of the instrument in the manner in which it was designed. Making the most of the instrument, uh, uh, making the most of the music in the manner in which this organ was designed. Now, I can put it that way. these are the controls. Now, I, I understand the, the keyboard, which is, it's like a harpsichord keyboard. It's black with, with white yes. minors, which kind of struck me as odd. Uh, um, it, one finds that in, in older organs and, and, uh, and increasingly in modern ones. You know, we can't kill elephants anymore. Um, nowadays, when we want to make, um, when we want to make white, white keyboards with black, black notes, uh, black sharps. Uh, what we use again, we tear a leaf out of the book of the old masters, and we use oxbow. Oh, okay. Which, which <laughs> if you, it's well chosen and well bleached. And these are these yeah. are like hand carved in the ends and everything. Yeah, I mean, those were done in a machine, I think. But those sort of arcades. Uh, this is the kind of thing you it's see. Just, I, it's just I've never seen it before. You see that yeah. on harpsichord keyboards. Now, all the time. what are the the buttons, there's hidden buttons up in here. Okay, those are, ah, well, now we're getting something that they didn't have back in the Baroque <laughs> uh, And that's, um, these are presets. 